Hello, I'm Philip and I would like to show you a brief introduction to SignalPlant, the signal processing software. It's a non-destructive tool, it's uh, responsive even with huge recordings and it contains over 25 plugins for filtering, detection and analysis tasks. And furthermore, it can be extended by third parties. The aim of this introduction is to show you how to control signal plant and how to do some basic processing steps with a sample ECG record, which can be downloaded from the project website at CodePlex. All right, signal plant is running, so we can open our sample file. Let's go to File, Open, and select the HDF file format now and select the ECG sample file. And here is our ECG record. Uh, here we have signals, signal names and list of available channels. We can manipulate with the time axis in the most intuitive way using mouse by dragging signal to the left uh, or right or we can use mouse wheel to change the time scale. And Note the navigation panel at the bottom showing which portion of the file you actually see. Uh, we can also use uh, arrow keys to navigate to the left and right as well as the home and end keys. Furthermore, we can use mouse just in a navigation panel to change the visible area. And it's also possible to change time scale by dragging borders of this navigation bar. To show a specific detail quickly, you can use spacebar key and left mouse button over the area of interest. And now, here we are as close as possible and uh, we can see samples as a black crosses. We can see that there's a lot of noise and it's probably common 50 Hz noise from the power grid. And this is the right time to show you a nice feature of Signal Plant, uh, which is the expandability by plugins. For the first, let's do some analysis of the noise. Uh, let's go to Plugins, to Analysis category, it's at the button, and select the FFT Analysis plugin here. Now, the channel to be analyzed must be linked with this analysis plugin. So drag its name to this button and we can see FFT analysis showing 50 Hz noise without any depths. A 4 second window is used for FFT analysis but it can be set differently and yes the amount of 50 Hz noise in my colleague's office is really high. And thanks to it, we have beautiful opportunity to filter it out. There are several filtering plugins in Signal Plant, but just for this moment, let's use Averaging plugin here. As well as other filters, the Averaging plugin has the real-time preview feature. So when you change the filter settings, you can see changes in the results. Okay, the current settings doesn't look pretty well. It's probably because of currently used windowing function. Let's change it to a different one. Let's say a natural window. This one is my favorite. And well, this is really better. Now set the averaging radius. So, well, this should work. And press the process button. And now here is our filtered signal. Really important feature in Signal Plant is the non-destructive editing. If you filter the signal, you create a new state of that signal named data cache and you can switch among existing states of that signal. Here we have two states, one with a raw original signal and the second with a filtered signal. And what we will see on FFT analysis now, uh, run the FFT plugin and we link the channels in different way. Instead of dragging, click the channels button and select several channels together. Now we see three FFT spectra belonging to selected channels. The third one belongs to LA channel, which we filtered before. And 50 Hz noise have been filtered out, as you can see here, with the moving window average filter, while uh, other channels stay noisy. 
What's the nice is that if you switch the visible data cache, plugins should refresh themselves in real time, which is another pretty feature. Uh, generally, all of plugins should process the visible states of linked channels. In Signal Plant, we can use RLR to measure signal amplitudes. Just press the control key and left mouse button. It's a black vertical line. Uh, in menu, switch uh, this to show values and now we can measure amplitudes. We can use it also for measuring time delays. Just press Ctrl key and move mouse like this. We can switch units to samples instead of seconds and now uh, we can see the time delay in samples. Useful thing for signal processing is the signal mounting. Let's do it. Go to plugins and mount and just Type equations defining values in new channels. So let's write the equation for the lead one, it's a standard ECG mount here. The one is a LA minus RA channel. The similar equation for the lead two and for the lead three. Whenever you press the enter or jump to another cell, the equation is checked. So if everything is green, everything is OK, you can press the process button and new channels will be computed in a multi-thread manner, as you can see here. Well, we have new three channels. We can reorder them by the right mouse button and fit them to the screen. Now the number of channels is growing and we can choose which channels should be displayed and which should stay hidden. It's uh, really useful for EEG recordings, usually containing more than 100 channels. OK, uh, let's concentrate on heard activity of my colleague, which we have recorded here. We can see several heartbeats uh, containing P wave, R wave and T wave. And we can try to detect R wave with FFT filter. So go to plugins, filters, FFT filter and link this channel in the plugin window. Drag the name and place it on the button. It shows frequency spectra here and uh, which part of it should be removed. Let's switch it from the band stop to band pass. So see the see the change now. And if we set the correct limits for the band pass filter, we can see how the filtered signal reacts to settings and how it reacts to QRS. Switch the results to envelope using Hilbert transformation, and now we can see it precisely creates peaks in places of the QRS complexes. Note that the preview in the plugin window reflects the current time window in a signal plant. So you can zoom through the area which you are interested in and tune the filter precisely. You can drag uh, the filter limits by mouse, nice interactive feature, and just try to tune this filter for T-Wave. Now we can see that envelopes reacts directly to T-Wave, not QRS, so it's nice to play with this. But let's get back to our QRS. Important thing is that uh, usually you can process more channels than one. So select these three channels and press the process button. Now we have amplitude envelopes and you can see that new data caches have been created and there's also data cache description for these new signal states. Once we have these peaks, it's easy to detect them using peak detection plugin. Uh, go to menu and plugins, peak detection and link the second channel into plugin by dragging its name onto the channel button.
now we can see over 3000 peaks it's too much so we have to set some peak limitations i will use uh, auto set feature place the cursor below the peak and press the auto set button now we have just nine peaks i will give more freedom to peak limitations and uh, okay it's better and and now the plugin predicts 169 marks it sounds reasonable so press the export marks and close the plugin so what's new generated marks are expressed by blue vertical lines also we can see those marks in navigation panel showing temporal distribution of those marks representing in our case qrs complexes these marks can be generated in many ways even you can set them manually which can be used for eeg artifact selection for example it would be wonderful to create some nice picture with series of consecutive QRS complexes. Uh, so we can go to menu again and visit the plugins, analysis and multi-sketch plugin. Marks are already associated inside. So link one of the channel and set the limit for displayed area to the left and right from each mark. On the left there is a P wave and QRS is in the middle and T wave on the right. And we can set this value to create nice 3D effect. We can colorize the signal by amplitude. Uh, we can add some small offset in time axis and uh, we can choose another color gradient. Okay, I will choose this one. Uh, it's it's a little bit crazy but it's nice let's see the line thickness and the transparency okay transparency is here nice we can copy the picture into clipboard and send it to our colleagues elsewhere in windows you can paste that picture and send it to the head of your department and i think she or he will be really happy to have so nice colorful picture so okay here's a nice picture by and send it's done if you need to create print screens of these signals just press the right mouse button and and press the copy picture item and remember if you have difficulties using any plugin or the signal plan itself run the plugin and press the help menu item there's a PDF help file and each plugin from standard plugin set is described inside as well as the installation and how to start with a signal plant. Okay, I think this brief introduction into signal plant is over. So do not forget to save your work. And if you have questions or suggestions, do not hesitate to write us. It's already nice to receive a kind email message. Thank you for your attention and enjoy your signal processing with Signal Plant.